New tonight, recent terror threats aimed at shopping malls in North America by terrorist groups are raising some safety concerns. But terror experts that we talked with say the latest round of threats don't have a lot of validity. News 13's Joel Skipper joins us now in the studio. Joel, not a lot of validity? Why not? Marla, both Congressman Alan Grayson and another terrorism expert say these threats are basically scare tactics with the goal of getting people worried. This is the latest video released this weekend by East African terrorist group Al Shabaab, warning of a possible attack here in the States. What if such an attack was to occur in the Mall of America in Minnesota? In 2013, the group attacked an upscale mall in Kenya, killing more than 60 people. Terrorism expert and former Orlando police captain Joe Robinson says while the group suggests possible attacks at places like malls, it's a group known for more talk than action in order to recruit people to join them. Some guy or group 10,000 miles away making a threat against a mall in America among 1,000 malls, it's not going to keep me or my wife from going shopping. Robinson says if a group really wanted to attack, they wouldn't draw attention to themselves, especially not by releasing a pre-warning or video. To broadcast an internet video saying we're going to come there certainly takes away the number one element of an attack, and that's the element of surprise. And that if there is an emergency... Then... Florida 9th District Congressman Alan Grayson spoke to a group of Central Florida fire chiefs on Monday about homeland security saying there's a big difference between threat and action. We have um, a machinery of government, six million people working every day to make sure that we remain safe. There's not been a successful foreign attack in the United States since 9-11. Robinson adds malls and other large public places have strategies in place in case a threat turns into action. It's nothing new for us in the business. Professional security officers, law enforcement, mall management, the store owners and managers. And we've been looking at prudent measures on multiple layers for a long time. Now we did reach out to several Central Florida malls. The mall at Millennia is the only one that responded saying, quote, we are aware of the threat and have been in communication with law enforcement. We will continue to monitor the situation through our communication with local, state, and national authorities. In the studio, Joel Skipper, News.